Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm really excited about today's video because I'm going to film the August update for my Shop My Shadows series. So if you haven't heard about the series that I am doing before, I am rotating through my entire eyeshadow collection and this year my goal is to use all of my eyeshadows at least once. So my goal is kind of like to get to know my eyeshadow collection. Most of the eyeshadows I'm going to keep, but then some I have decluttered and some palettes I have depotted. And I have really been enjoying to do this series and these are one of my favorite videos to film. It's so exciting in the end of the month when I have used all of my eyeshadows that I have for that month at least once. I have my opinion of them and I have decided what I'm going to do with them and then I'm going to move on to next eyeshadows. And for September I do have some eyeshadows coming that I'm really excited about. But first, let's go through the eyeshadows I had in my rotation in August. So first, I of course had my Baby Panda palette in my rotation. So this is the BH Cosmetics Neutral Eyes to Go. And this is my only real eyeshadow panning project for this year. And I actually filmed an update for this in August. So I will link the update down below if you are interested to see my progress with this one. Okay, then I had three loose eyeshadows from Aromaly and these are all from the Fatalis collection. I actually have decided to declutter one of these and keep two of these. I'm sorry, these names are in Latin and I am <laughs> i don't speak Latin. But this one that I'm going to declutter is Dendroaspis Polylepis and it is a snake. And this is a pretty eyeshadow. I actually did wear this in my complexion product wishlist video. It's kind of like this little bit deeper purpley pinky eyeshadow. Looks like this. The reason I am going to declutter this one is that I don't go for this kind of eyeshadows that often. And if I do, I do have eyeshadows that I would way rather reach for over this one. Just one example of those is from my C palette. I do have here the Makeup Geek eyeshadow pan in Anarchy. They are not exactly the same, but they are similar enough. The wipe is so similar and I find that the Makeup Geek eyeshadow is so much easier to work with. Loose eyeshadows are not, in my opinion, the most easy eyeshadows ever, but I have recently had better luck with them because I have been using glitter primer. However, when I used this one I had little struggles. I think it's, it is because it is so deep that if you don't wear something deeper under it, it will appear quite sheer and it doesn't look that good then. For me the thing with loose eyeshadows is that in order for me to keep them they really need to offer me something that I cannot get from elsewhere from my collection. And this one I just don't think it's special enough and it's not something I would really reach for so I will rather just declutter it. However the two other eyeshadows from this collection that I have I am going to keep. So this one is Hapaloc Laena Lunulata. Well, it is some sort of a living creature in the sea. I actually don't have anything like this in my collection. It is this light purpley shade that has a beautiful shift to it. This purple shade is kind of like more neutral type of purple. I'm so bad at describing some of these shades. But this one is really beautiful. I don't have anything like this in my collection. This is not like a go-to color for me in any ways. But I do think it's stunning and this one I for sure want to keep. Then the last eyeshadow from this collection that I have is this one called Amanita Muscaria and this is so beautiful. This one is inspired by the red mushroom that has white dots. In it, I don't know what the name of the mushroom is in English, but at least it is a common mushroom here in Finland. This one is a really beautiful color. I actually did wear this in my 19 in 2019 update. So it is this beautiful shimmery orangey color that has kind of like gold green 
sparkles in it. It's absolutely stunning and I for sure want to keep this. I think it's so suitable for this time of year and I would love to wear it a couple of times more this year, but it's time for me to move on. Then I had two eyeshadow palettes in my rotation in August. So let's start with my side eyeshadow palette, so a smaller palette. This one is the Balm Balm Voyage 2 palette and this is kind of like a multitasking palette. It really has everything in it. First, there are these two cream blushes that you can also use on your lips. However, these are already tried out. This palette is pretty old. I got it in 2015, so these are tried out and I haven't even counted them to my makeup inventory. Then there are some face powders, so a highlighter, bronzer and two blushes and then there are nine eyeshadows here. I am going to depot this palette. I think I already have mentioned it in my last Shop My Shadows video. The face powders I do really like, but I am going to film tomorrow or a day after tomorrow a face or a cheek product declutter. So I will go through all of my cheek products in that video and I will decide what I'm going to do with these. The eyeshadows, I have decided to keep three of these eyeshadows and the clutter six. I personally find that the balm eyeshadows are pretty hit and miss. Some of their eyeshadows, in my opinion, are really good, especially their mattes. I love their mattes. And then I also do enjoy their satin formula. However, some of the shimmery eyeshadows I find are really lackluster, like when they look in the pan that they are going to be like really beautiful and shimmery and then they just lack in pigmentation. And finally the balm is known to make those matte eyeshadows with glitters. There are a couple in this palette too. I don't like that kind of eyeshadows. By the way, before telling you which eyeshadows I'm going to keep and which I'm going to declutter, I just wanted to mention that I actually got this palette for it to be a travel palette and it has served really well. I think this is an excellent travel palette because it has a bronzer that really works on my skin tone really well. Then the highlighter, as you can see, I have hit pan on it, so I have used it a lot. It is the same color than the Balm Mary Luminizer and that one I am actually wearing today. Then it has two different blushes and nice variety of eyeshadows. I guess usually when I have traveled, I have also taken one eyeshadow palette and then one neutral blush, but then I have been set. And this palette is also travel themed, like it has these beautiful destination pictures in the packaging. I think the balm makes such cool and cute packaging and I really do like this sleek cardboard packaging. And what is best in my opinion, what comes to the theme of the palette, is that all of these names mean welcome in different languages. Let's actually go through the eyeshadows that I'm going to keep. So I'm going to keep this one here that is called Tervetuloa and if you didn't know, that means welcome in Finnish and I just think it's so cute. It's not completely matte but then it's not really shimmery either. I think it's something kind of like in between of being a matte and a satin. It's a really subtle satin I would say and it is a nice beige shade. I think it is a really nice transition shade so I do want to keep that one. Then this one I am going to keep so it is called Welcome and I'm actually going to swatch this to you. Maybe I will swatch Tervetula too so you will see what I'm going to keep. So this is Tervetula so as you can see it's Nothing that special, but I think it's really wearable shade and I just cannot get rid of the shade. <laughs> then this one is Welcome and it is this dark, almost like blackened teal. This eyeshadow is actually really really unique to my collection. I don't have anything like this. I do have a couple of mattes that are similar in tone, but actually this kind of eyeshadows I do like more in shimmery formulas, so I'm going to keep that one. It's not something I wear often, but I think it's a really pretty shade. Then I decided to keep this set Will Common. I was actually going back and forth with this one. I think this is a really beautiful color. It is this satiny bronze. And I think it's beautiful shade 
over here. The reason I went a little bit back and forth with this eyeshadow is that these shadows are going to go to my C palette. As you can see, it's pretty full, there's not much room, but also I do have a couple of eyeshadows that are really similar, especially this one over here. It is a the potted eyeshadow from the Balm Shady Lady Special Edition palette and to be honest these eyeshadows when I swatch them side by side they look pretty much exactly the same. There is a subtle difference but probably on eyes you are not able to tell it but I don't know. I still can see the difference and I do want to keep this eyeshadow. Then let's go quickly through the eyeshadows that I'm going to declutter. So the entire top row. First there is Welcome and that is a matte white. As I said I do enjoy the Balm formula. There is nothing wrong with the eyeshadow. However I do have already matte white eyeshadow in my C palette. So this one over here. It is the matte Malloy from the Balm Need Matte Nude palette. So it's a huge eyeshadow and I do not need another white. Then this eyeshadow Bienvenue I'm going to declutter. This is one of those eyeshadows that I feel the balm did it quite nail. I mean in the pan it looks like a beautiful gold but then it performs really poorly. It's really really sheer and it's difficult to get to show. So there it is swatched. I don't know how well you can see it. It's really really difficult to get even like an opaque application to your lid. Then there is this set Bienvenido that looks really really beautiful in the pan. It almost looks like kind of like an olive golden eyeshadow but it's really really hard eyeshadow. It's almost one of those kind of like matte with glitter shadows but then it's maybe a little bit more glittery. It's not that special. I don't think it's great. The eyeshadow is pretty color. If it was similar formula to Welcome, which is more like a satin eyeshadow and it does have a lot of pigmentation, maybe I would keep it. But this one is just kind of like really hard and rough eyeshadow, so I don't want to keep it. I don't think it's good quality. Then Benvenuto I am going to declutter. It is a pink eyeshadow. Pink is overall not my favorite eyeshadow color, but I do have in my collection plenty of pinks that I do think are way better than this one. Then these two eyeshadows. Welcome and Falte, or however you pronounce that. Those I am not going to keep because they are those mattes with glitters. To be fair, these two don't have that much glitter in them, so they almost appear as mattes. So if I want to deepen up the outer corner with them, I won't even get any glitter there if I use a fluffy brush. However, I find that these are actually something you need to pack on and then they may be a little bit more difficult to blend out. So I will just rather use mattes because I do have so amazing mattes in my collection. I do have even here in my face C palette where these depotted eyeshadows are going. I do have beautiful eyeshadows from the Balm Mint Matte palettes. That is what I'm going to do with this palette. I'm going to depot it and the eyeshadows that I'm going to keep are Tervetulo, Welcome and Willkommen Common that I think all are better quality. And then finally I do have my main eyeshadow palette of August left. So it was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. I have already told you that this is going to be my painted palette for next year. So it was kind of like my goal for this month to, you know, test out all of the eyeshadows and see how they perform. I was a little bit worried because many people have had the Modern Renaissance expiring. However, I didn't have any issues with the eyeshadows. They perform beautifully. Yes, they are really powdery, perhaps even more powdery like when I got them. I remember it has always been powdery, but now it's like really powdery. But I didn't have any irritation and the eyeshadows performed beautifully. They are pigmented. I enjoyed it and I actually did hit pan on three eyeshadows. Like it was not even my goal, but I still did it. So Tempera over here. Burned orange over here and then Cypress Umber I hit pan on too. So yeah, this eyeshadow palette I'm obviously going to keep and I am going to pan it 
next year and to be honest I'm really excited about it. I have really been enjoying this palette. One thing I want to say is that I'm not somebody who is maybe the most creative with eyeshadow looks and usually when I have created looks from this palette they have been either like from the warm eyeshadows or from the pink eyeshadows but I am not too good at combining that kind of eyeshadows. However, I really wanted to try one of these eyeshadow looks combining these orangey eyeshadows to the pink ones today. So I actually did see kind of like a tutorial from Pinterest and I must say I really really do love this look. So I'm actually going to show you a picture of this tutorial. It's one of those kind of like step-by-step -step pictures. So yeah, I did create this look following this tutorial. I added burnt orange to be a transition shade and then I added tempera to my brow bone. But other than that, I followed the exact steps of the tutorial. And then uh, something that in the look in the picture there was not, but I added was a winged eyeliner because I felt I need something black to deepen up the look a little bit and I love this look. I don't know, I guess I was a little bit worried that the pinks and the oranges are not going to blend well together but actually they blended out like a dream. Another eyeshadow I have been wearing a lot this month is Warm Top over here because in my Baby Panda palette there is the top eyeshadow that I am trying to pan or trying to finish up. I have already hit pan so I have been wearing this a lot. I think Warm Top is a pretty eyeshadow with top looks, but overall I don't think it goes that well together with the rest of the palette. So yeah, this eyeshadow palette I am going to keep. I'm probably going to keep using it once in a while this year with my Baby Panda palette. However, I'm officially starting a Panda palette with this one either in the very, very end of December or in the very beginning of January. So I am super excited and I'm happy that it has not expired so I actually can get some more use out of this and I feel I can get my money's worth out of this. I don't know, before this month I have been reaching for it once in a while but then it has never really been one of my favorite palettes but I think it's a great palette and I'm super excited for being able to pan this. Okay, and then let's really quickly go through the eyeshadows that I'm going to be using in September. As I said, I'm pretty excited about them. So, of course, my Baby Panda palette. So, I do have some goals for the next couple of months. I talked about those in my Baby Panda palette update video, so check that out if you're interested. I think I'm going to keep the Modern Renaissance on the top of my vanity. I'm not going to use it otherwise, except when I am using the top eyeshadow from this palette that I'm trying to finish up. I want to make some progress on warm top too, because they go so beautifully together. Then each month for the rest of this year I need to pick some single eyeshadows and this month I picked my only single in compact. So it is from Essence. This is the Essence Mono Eyeshadow in the shade All I Need and this is a top eyeshadow. I don't think I will be wearing this more than once because in the BH Cosmetics palette there is the top that I am working on but I decided to pick this one because this month I wanted to have as little bit of singles as possible because I will have a couple of a little bit bigger palettes coming. That's why I wanted to pick as small of a side eyeshadow palette as possible. I don't know if you can even call this a palette. So this is the e.l.f. Best Friend Duo and it is in the set Beat Squad. I have not worn this once. I bought this very late last year, like I made some panic purchases before I started my Nova year and I bought this even though I knew very well that I don't need it. It was a stupid purchase but it will be my side eyeshadow palette this month. Okay, so as I mentioned I will have two palettes in my rotation this month. So first one, I do have still two matte eyeshadow palettes in my collection and those are something that I am just throwing to some months where I feel that they are kind of like appropriate. So this month I decided to throw one of those into my rotation and it is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette. So this is 
the matte palette from Kat Von D. I think this one is really really good. It has all of the basic mattes you really could need if you tend to wear more neutral eyeshadows. I do think this is a really great palette. Unfortunately, I have just not worn it that much. I am not somebody who wears a lot of all matte looks. I do them sometimes, but most of the times I do prefer something shimmery. However, I think I'm going to be able to combine these eyeshadows with other eyeshadows I have in my rotation for this month. And finally, there is the main eyeshadow palette for September left and I'm really excited because this palette is one of my favorite likes. It goes to my top three for sure. So this is the Nubian 2 eyeshadow palette by Juvia's Place. I absolutely do love this. This is actually the last eyeshadow palette from Juvia's Place that I have. I have had three Juvia's Place palettes already this year in my rotation and I have saved the best for last because this is my favorite. I do absolutely love this color story and I think it's so appropriate to this season when we are getting to fall. Like it has this warm rich color, some of these jewel tones and I'm just so excited to be able to play with this palette. I have been waiting for it. I bet that I am going to keep this one, but I'm going to have fun time playing with it. And I think I can also combine these eyeshadows with the mattes from the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. Okay, so that was everything for today. So I am really, really excited that the Modern Renaissance is still good and next year I am going to pan it. And then I am really excited for the eyeshadows that I will have in my rotation for September, especially the Juvia's Place the Nubian 2 palette that is one of my favorites from my entire collection. So yeah, that was everything for today. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you in my next one. Bye bye.